Have you ever seen Casey Neistat's video, Make It Count? Yeah, you probably have. Basically, the dude gets a lot of money from a brand to make a commercial, but instead he spends it traveling the world. It was truly inspirational. 2022 was like that, both in sports and for me as a channel, a mix of the unexpected, a bit of adventure, and big things on the horizon. But totally minus the money part. This is 2022, five points a year in review. Well, we started the sports year off way back in February when the LA Rams of all teams hoisted the Lombardi in a decent Super Bowl in their home stadium. Eli Apple got burnt like weed at Snoop's house and that was that. Georgia won a natty because they didn't Georgia. Then there was another epic NFL draft where a bunch of my friends were there having a great time and giving us the inside scoop. Some year clickbait will be there, not just Scooter. Pittsburgh Steelers! Select! The Avs won the Stanley Cup and it was a decent season for my Rangers as they made a deep run to the conference finals, but fell short. Pinera tries to quick wrist shot blocked off. It's a goal! Yeah! Yeah! And to nobody's surprise, Steph Curry won another ring, this time without the snake. The Mets had a great summer, had a huge lead on the Braves, and were cruising to a World Series. And it's grounded the hole, it's a base hit to left field! Kim's gonna score! Grisham's gonna score! It's a blowout! The massacre is happening in real time! Juan Soto with his first hit! Big hit of the inning and of the series! That didn't hurt or anything. The playoffs were great, even though the Astros ended up winning it all. At least they didn't cheat this time. Then we have one of the greatest World Cups ever, despite where it was hosted, and an even better final with Messi finally bringing home the hardware. The fuck, is that Salt Bay? And now we're closing out the year with the Giants being decent, the Knicks were hot, the Rangers are okay, and Steve Cohen is spending money like a weed head in a Spencer Gifts after payday. And here's all the other championships I missed, real quick. This year was great for the channel as we did about the same in views and subs from last year, but from your support, we made a big leap in financial stability. Thank you for not skipping the ads, I love you. We had a lot of epic clickbait sports punishments and we had a blast both here and on the dumpster fire. The other channel I have with Urinating Tree, link below, check it out. And now outside my normal content, I tried some different things and I just love how they turned out. Me and some other YouTubers played basically a minor league baseball team in an actual baseball game. Two actually, and we got smoked, but we had a blast. I got to work with Eric Sim, the king of Juco, out at the legendary Momentum facility and had an absolute blast trying to hit tanks and failing miserably. And I was on YouTube Game of the Week again and got to talk to Lauren Gardner, and I'm, I'm a big fan. Overall, content-wise, I am pretty happy with everything from 2022, and that leads me into what's next. So I definitely want to do more IRL stuff in 2023. The game against the Sock Puppets was such a success that we're doing it again with them on June 1st in Burlington, North Carolina. And in July of 2023, we will also be taking on the Portland Pickles out in Portland, Oregon. So look for both of those announcements. I would love to see y'all there in person. I'm actually taking this way more seriously this time, practicing every week and trying not to embarrass myself like last time. And I realize my athletic journey is coming to an end and I'm putting forward my best last ditch effort. And I'm really looking forward to going to more stadiums and doing more in-person reviews and delivering to you all the content that you like and respond to. 2023 will be all about old friends, new friends, and being happy. Because why not make it count?